Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video. I'm going to zoom in a little. Showing what I've been up to. Uh, at least the last couple of days anyways. Just a few projects. I made a few tags that I'm sending out. These will hopefully be uh, sent out. They'll be sent out before this video is uploaded. So, But here's this one. Uh, yeah, went a little jippy on the fibers. I don't know why. I, yeah, I think I didn't have a lot of this color, but... Hang on, I didn't mean to. This is a flower that I glimmer mist and painted with smooch, and this is some Prima Bling. It's a stick pin, blah, stick pin that I made. Some feathers. Here's some lace that I got from, I believe, Walmart. And then here's some Satan studs, which, because it's humid here, this was a pain in the butt to put on because they're sticky. You can still see that they're sticky. So peeling them off, they went everywhere, they stick on everything, and because my nails are done, uh, they just love the top coat of the nail polish, right? So here's the back. This is a thank you tag, obviously. The background, I used the musical notes from, uh, if you guys seen it, I don't know where it is, but it's from the Frogs and Whiskers musical note stamp. It stamps really nice. I was very impressed by how crisp that stamps. Sorry. And then this is the dress form stamp. This one right here from Frogs and Whiskers as well. So I stamped this in vintage photo. And here are some baby prima primas that I made. I'm so proud. I'll show you guys those in a second. So these two are just, they're just white. And then I just edged with the um, vintage photo. You can't really see because the camera won't focus. And then these blue ones are Prima. So that's this tag. Look like that. Here's another tag. This was super fun because this isn't something I normally do and I was much better with the fibers. Here's a cute little crown charm. This is a Kane Company sticker. This is hot stuff. Uh, the paper line is that Prima um, rock and paper, whatever. I can't tell you what it's called. I'm sorry, I forget. But I used it before on something, a layout for Trina. And then these hearts I cut out from the line, except for this one. This one's from. And then this is just a little tag. And I distress these babies with that distress it all, Zetter distress it all. Man, that thing eats. This is like kind of like cereal box. It's not a cereal box, but it's the same thickness of it and like it just ate it just it just took it away but uh, it's not a nighttime toy okay <laughs> or so I've been told I've been told not to use it at night because it sounds like a buzzsaw especially when you're chewing up this stuff which sucks because you really get into it and it's like two o'clock in the morning and just like okay before I stick anything down I have to distress it and you go to buzzsaw it and you know you're not allowed because somebody's sleeping I know so it would always be a bummer to have to do something else, especially when you get into it. So this card, here's some lace that I got from a friend. Here is another stamp from the Frog and Whiskers. There it is right there. And I had a lot of fun with this stamp. I colored it with my Copics. Very fun. These are Prima roses. I just got lazy. I didn't want to stamp anything. This stamp right here. A lot of stamps actually are from this tin right here. It's this stamp. I thought I'd give it, I don't know, grass or something. This stamp right here says, listen within your heart. Listen within, your heart knows the way. And then this charm says friend, so I kind of thought it said, you know, friend, listen to your heart, your heart knows the way. Uh, this stamp set is a Seven Gypsies stamp set. There it is right there. And this is called Ink Friends. I got it from Peachy Cheat there a couple months ago. And then here's some bling. Uh, so I used my iRock bling for the first time. Uh, right now I'm not very impressed. Uh, honestly, it would have been easier to glue it by hand. Uh, it's not because I'm not using the iRock, because that's what I thought at first. So I touched it to see if it was getting hot. Yes, that thing is hot. Okay, do not touch it. I burned myself pretty good. 
So I don't know. I honestly, when I used the t-shirt bling, it glue a lot faster. So uh, right now, not too, too terribly impressed, unfortunately. Like it does stick there, but I don't know. It just took too long, honestly. The tweezers and the glue would have been a lot quicker. But, uh, you know, I'll keep trying. Some fiber. And then here's the back. Here's one of those little sacks that you get from Michael's. I use the same musical stamp again. And then all these stamps, the bonjour and the stamps here, are all from this stamp collection. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So I, I'm having a lot of fun. I was a little worried when I first looked at them because there's no foam. It's just rubber on wood. And I was worried if I'd get a good impression. Now I did mess up on this one, which I didn't mind because whatever, it just looks distressed. But uh, the other one stamped out fine. And this stamped out fine when I did it on a practice run. So it was just me being retarded. So that's that. I've also, so let me show you my Primas. These are the ones that I've been making. Aren't they cute? Okay, this right here is two sheets of cardstock. Holy smokes. And let me tell you, it took two movies. <laughs> I sat here watching two movies doing these. And I did try wet glue. That did not work so well. So hot glue, gl hot glue gun, sorry, it's late, guys is your friend here but not for your fingers so I know you can't really see the detail but they actually do kinda look like Prima Roses here's an actual Prima they're a tad smaller I did them all in white so I could glimmer miss them but yeah that's two sheets of eight and a half by eleven cardstock I couldn't believe that's all it made because I wanted to make bulk but my fingers are a little tender so I'm gonna Stop that for now. And then here's another thing. Everybody's oh man, I just dropped one. Everybody's been making stick pins. So I decided to give it a whirl as well. And they're a lot of fun. This one's my favorite. Nope, not that one. That one's broken. I gotta fix it. Okay, so I'll fix it. I'll glue it later, but this is my favorite. That one right there. I got these little bell cups from Michaels so this is and I just got some new pretty pearls let me show you these ones right here I got them from Walmart for ten ten dollars ten fifty for all these it says it makes twenty bracelets which I you know I'm not making bracelets out of it but they're actually glass and they're really cool so I've been doing that and then I decided to get back into art journaling. Like, I've been doing different, some forms of art journaling. Let me show you. So, this is what I used to do back in the day. It was just pictures and just little, little stickers every so often. And pictures and more stickers. Right? Like, it was just gay stuff like it wasn't I like to write a lot more than anything and then this is from close to my heart I don't do the covers because covers get ruined very fast so then I started doing this this is last year so I did it's for a week so if somebody sent me a card like Judas sent me this card then I took a picture of it and I scrapbooked it or this is I guess my birthday week so and then I was really excited about this Obama came into Canada so, you know, I, I celebrated that because I think Obama's cool. And then uh, Potter, you know, just so this is how I did my scrap thing. So I decided to pick this one up again because this one's not done. So this is my first, and then this pulls out and has my journaling on the back because I love to journal. That's my thing. Check this out, guys. This is funny when I was flipping through this. This is my very first Cricut cut, <laughs> uh, June 16th, 2007. How pretty cool is that? I still have my first Cricut cut. So proud. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye.